Welcome to yet another episode of First Down. I'm here with Alan Dillon. Let's get started with First Down. All right, uh, the game I'm doing is Rams and Saints uh, last week. I don't know, I don't think anybody picked the Rams to win the game. That's just kind of silly to pick the Rams over the Saints. But the Rams actually beat the Saints 31-21. They were up 17-0 at halftime. The quarterback was A.J. Feely. I mean, that's just, that's just, um, it's kind of ironic to think that a that a quarterback that you don't know about would win the game against the Saints. Uh, Drew Brees, of course, and I think um, pretty safe bet that you can take the Rams off the Andrew Luck sweepstakes now. All right, the game I looked at was the Chiefs and the Chargers. The Chiefs ended up taking it 23 to 20. And if you're a football fan or definitely a Chargers fan, you're gonna look at this game and you're gonna see the fumbled snap with a minute left in field goal range. But I think one of the things people are overlooking is the inconsistent play of Phillip Rivers this season. I mean, he did throw for 369 yards, but he had two picks. And this time last uh, last year, I think he only had three picks. And this year he's got 10, when all of last year he only had 13. There was four turnovers in this game. It was really ugly. You'd, I'd be surprised to look at these stats and then not say the Chiefs came away with the win. Um, the game I watched over the weekend really paid attention to was Pittsburgh, New England. I think out of those two, those could be very well the uh, the AFC representative for the Super Bowl. And, and New England, they didn't look like the New England that they always looked like. Even their offense looked a little bit slow and, and like they couldn't get off the ball in time. Wes Walker was nowhere to be found, which is something we haven't seen all season from him. And it was amazing to see the the, the Pittsburgh defense go back to being the Pittsburgh defense because they, they put pressure on Tom Brady. They shut down those, those short routes, yeah. and they closed up the hole pretty quickly, and there was no rushing yardage to be found for New England. One, one thing I really liked about that game was the way Ben Roethlisberger played. He didn't play like Ben Roethlisberger, run around the pocket and make something happen at the last minute. He stayed in the pocket and he looked accurate. I don't want to say he looked like Tom Brady, but it was pretty close. And you know, uh, Pittsburgh did something that most teams don't do now, which is weird. They got a big lead, and then they started running the ball and, and eating up that clock and just making New England work against themselves and against the clock, which is something that teams don't do anymore. They, they always just want to air it out, and it doesn't work out well. We've seen that happen to Dallas. We have seen that happen to Houston, things mm -hmm. like that. All right, let's move on to setting down. For second down with a little buy and sell action, I'm going to start it off. I'm going to sell this idea that the Colts should not get Andrew Luck if they win the suck for luck sweepstakes, which it doesn't look like they're going to do. Even if they tie with Miami, Miami has a tiebreaker and they'll, they'll get the pick luck. But if they do get that pick, they should pick it. I don't care if Peyton Manning is still your guy. He's old. He's in his late 30s now. He's had three nice surgeries. He's not going to be around forever.